So I'm here with a blogger from Nudabyte.com. Did I say that properly? Nudabyte, yes. And what is your name? Jessica. Okay, so I, I'm not going to lie. I didn't know your blog yet. So for other people that don't know it, what is it about? Where do we find you? Well, you can find me at Nudabyte.com. N-U-D-A-B-I-T-E, like a bite.com. <laughs> And um, essentially, it's it's fashion meets queer culture, queer events, um, like a lot of like gay community organizations. Yeah. Um, so, and, I also and Montreal is a really good place for that. It is, and actually, um, I also collaborate with Montreal Street Fashion and with LesSpreadTheWord.com, and we mainly focus on a lot of a lot of gay, queer, um, but also fashion at the same time. You know, so if you can mix fashion into a queer gay sense. I mean, that's, that's sort of where, where I'm going with it. Um, still refining as I go, because I feel that as a blogger, you need to grow with experience. And um, your interests might change over the years, but something that I've, you know, at least come to come to realize is that my heart is in fashion, and it's also in gay, gay and queer culture, um, community activism as well. So that's really what I stand for. It's really great because it's a different offering. I mean, we know uh, we've met a lot of bloggers, but this is a specific blog that I think is, is going to be uh, truly different than what we see here right now. Yeah, definitely. Well, I feel like I feel like the, the fashion community is it's a very specific niche of its own, but within that culture, there's a subculture. There's a very different genre of people who are interested in fashion. And, you know, I mean, it's women who like androgyny, it's yeah. men who like to dress feminine. It's and right now, the androgyny is so big. I mean, we've seen André Pejic, and even right now at the, in the Montreal Fashion Week, there was a guy, Carrie Tobin, walking in a, in a Dewey show. Loved that. That, for me, was, not only was it very, like, fashion forward, but it was a political statement. It's like saying, you don't need to be a woman, you know, in order to wear women's clothing, to wear high heels, to wear makeup, to wear whatever. You can be a man and you can do that. And you can still be very feminine and you can still re really represent what that fashion, what that designer is trying to put forth. So you're really, you're going, you're really going above and beyond, you know, I, I think that's amazing. Yeah, I thought it was really great to have this in Montreal too. So let's talk a little bit about your fashion sense because I really like what you're wearing. You. I love that top. I love color. So what's your like inspiration today? My inspiration today, I, uh, well, I mean, the boots aren't so nice. <laughs> the boots are a little bit dirty. But um, no, the top, I wanted to go for um, like symmetry, straight lines, but also sort of you know, feminize it up a little bit. So the color is very feminine. There's a little bit of, sorry, there's like a little bit of a dynasty sort of 80s type of look, you know? There is a very 80s feel to your look. Yeah, it is. So, I mean, I don't know, it's um, it's really whatever you make of it. I just woke up this morning and this is what I felt like wearing. I dress for my physique, you know, and I'm proud to show off my curves, so why not show them off? Right, so. And while we have you here as a fashion expert, just tell us quickly what are your, your best buys for the summer that's coming? My best buys? Um, I really love vintage. I love vintage, so I tend to frequent some of the vintage shops on Saint Laurent. Um, I also have some friends who are designers, so I tend to buy from them as well, or like, you know, model their stuff. Not really model, but, you know, sample from their designers. Yeah, showcase, exactly. Um, and I really believe in recycling old pieces because, I mean, you know, pieces come back and trends circulate. So, I mean, you yeah, can really... Fashion is very cyclic, so we always see it coming back. So, I shop in my own closet, if that's what you mean. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming. And do you have a Twitter account so people can follow you? Definitely. Uh, it's Nudabyte at, uh, well, I guess it's, it's, it's Twitter, Nudabyte. And there's also Jesse, J E S S I E underscore cat, like Jesse cat. Perfect. We're going to follow you. Thank you so much for being here.